In Italy, coffee is taken seriously, really seriously. Baristas have elevated making the drink into something of an art form. And here in the quaint Tuscan village of Cortona, 23-year-old Giacomo Vanelli is the best of the best. Hey, hey good morning. Giacomo, how are you doing? Before we get started, um, I need to know what coffee is all about, so can I try something? Yeah, actually, yes. On arrival at the family cafe, he made me his signature drink, a blend of coffee infused with fresh fruit. Please, enjoy. Cherry, oh, wow. red fruits, I so can't... aromatic. Yeah. So sweet. It is. Giacomo is clearly the benchmark when it comes to brewing coffee. But it was time to get this artisan to help me review some gadgets. I'd brought along four top coffee makers and was hoping that at least one could get close to his world championship standard. First up was the Lavazza Espress Go, a 12 volt powered portable espresso maker for those who like a caffeine kick on the move. I just want to say to you here and now, obviously I'm sandwiched between you and your magnificent trophy. I don't feel any intimidation. Right, we're going to make an espresso. You simply pour in 50 milliliters of water, pop in a Modo Mio espresso capsule and plug in. Would you ever use something like this? No, I never, I never try. I'm waiting this cup of coffee. Good, I like the fact that you're open to the possibilities. But we had a problem. That's not working. That's not working. We did actually have to make the espresso using the 12 volt battery of, of a car. Try again. Yeah, baby! That's no, it's it. working. Yes. Giacomo got to see the gadget mobile. He didn't say in so many words, but uh, I think he was impressed. I bet you don't have to do this in the championships, run out into the rain and make your coffee. No, no. <laughs> no for the moment, you know. <laughs> After two minutes, the unit was at temperature, so we headed inside to taste the result. Giacomo was hoping for an espresso that was rich in flavour with a compact foam or crema on top. It's coffee. It's, a, it's an espresso. The crema was not uh, fantastic and the taste was a little bit bitter. But, you know, it's very difficult to make coffee inside the car. It's quite easy to use, mm -hmm. quite quickly. Yep. So, to make espresso in the car, that machine is better than me. Good stuff. <laughs> Next up was the Philips Seiko Multio, a bean-to-cup machine which lets you control the fineness of the grind and features an automatic milk carafe. Right, Giacomo, we're going to make a latte macchiato. A latte macchiato is just one of five coffee styles the Philips will produce and according to Giacomo, should contain one shot of espresso, lots of milk and a foamy top. No. It's not quiet, is it? Yeah, you cannot make latte when the children are sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> After the intense milk frothing, espresso drip delivery and some time to settle, what was Giacomo's verdict? Uh, the foam is quite good, but it's not right balance between milk and espresso. Hmm. I don't like that. Not too much. It's, re it's really bitter. Yeah. And we've used your bean, so what, too hot? Yes. Also, double shot in a latte. You need just one shot. I see. Giacomo and I moved swiftly onto the DeLonghi Prima Donna, a self-cleaning bean-to-cup machine that has a patented automatic cappuccino mode. A cappuccino is also one of your specialities, right? Right. OK, so <laughs> here we go. You know what, I'm going to give you the honours. There's the cappuccino button there, please press. I, I think we have to put the cup. That's a really good plan. The height of the DeLonghi's dispensing nozzle can be adjusted to fit any cup size, and the LCD screen displays the brewing progress. Instantly, you could see that the foam wasn't up to scratch. It wasn't elastic. Your foam has to be elastic. That's one thing I learned from Giacomo. The foam is not very compact, you know. OK. There is a big bubble. Yep. In fact, when put next to Giacomo's own cappuccino, there was just no comparison. Yeah. The foam. OK, yes. It looked like cream. Yes. The other one, it looked like water. OK. You see, I thought, I thought, ah, of course the machine can at least get close to what you can do, but so far, no. But we, we have one more machine, but so far, no. 
Now my piece of resistance was the Scanamat Top Brewer. This one had the most tech um, under the bonnet. Believe it or not, this is a coffee machine. Yeah, dude, it's, it's a coffee machine. <laughs> Designed for home and office use, this machine can produce fruit juices, tea, and all varieties of coffee from its concealed underbelly. All right? All right. Yeah? Okay. So you will observe there are no buttons. Ah, I'm very curious. Good, good. Curiosity is a very good thing, despite yeah. what it did to the cat. Shall we have a seat? A free app lets you sync your phone with the Top Brewer via Bluetooth. Then you can choose and customize your coffee to your desired size and strength. The first coffee we made was the espresso, um, one of Giacomo's specialities. I mean, th this is what he knows about. Oh. How about that crema on top? It's quite good. Yep. Yeah, the car is good and the consistently. Yes. It's quite good. <laughs> Actually, it's, you know, good machine. <laughs> <laughs> he was mildly impressed. Uh, mildly impressed is very good. Now on a roll, I felt Giacomo needed to try the Top Brewer's Cappuccino too. Okay, so temperature is good. Good balance between coffee and milk. That's the best one we've had from a machine today. Yeah. One, two, ten. <laughs> seven, seven. Seven, okay. Because it looks smart. Yeah. Okay. Ten out of ten is reserved for him alone.